Okay, I'd like to show you how to turn a Google Form into your digital lockbox. So in Google Drive, you're going to go New, and you're going to go Google Form. All right, and that'll bring you to your Google Form. Uh, so you can name the game whatever you want. We'll just go this way for now. Um, I like to make sure they have to include their name, just so I can see who passes it and when. Okay. We'll go name and that'll be a short answer and we'll make that required okay so now let's add some locks in the thing with the digital version you can make whatever type of lock you want like in the physical world it's four digit three digit padlock or directional in this you can make it ten digit one digit a word anything so let's add a question and this is gonna be our first lock we'll make it a four digit lock and we have to change that to short answer. We'll make it required. Okay, now here's the big secret on how to make this into a lock. We're going to click these three buttons, the three, these three dots, and we're gonna go data validation. And we're gonna say, okay, number, that is correct. The number has to equal, um, we'll make our four digit lock one, two, three, four. So in order for it to be submitted for this question, that number has to be entered by the user. So that's the combination to this lock. Now the key is the Google form will tell you what the password is or what the lock is unless you put a custom error text. So you could say something like whatever, just so they know it's wrong. Otherwise, it'll tell them the answer. So let's um, stop there and we'll, let's do a quick preview and see what it looks like. So a name, um, so four digit lock, the asterisk means it's required. And so we need to enter the code. Um, see, if it's not what the code is, it's gonna tell us it's wrong. But when we do enter the code, that red stuff goes away and there's nothing there, it's white, and that means we've cracked it. Anything else besides the code makes it red and says wrong. And then, so if we figure out the code is one, two, three, four, we, then we can then submit it. Okay, um, let's make a word lock. So we'll go add a question. This this one will be, um, we'll go country lock. So that means the user knows, or the person playing the game knows, they have to figure out some sort of the country that's gonna unlock this particular lock. So again, go to short answer. You need to make it required. And same steps for the most part, these three dots go with data validation. But now we want a word, okay? Um, so we don't need number, we need text. And that text needs to contain, there isn't, there isn't an exact or an equal to, it just contains, doesn't contain, and you know, the other ones, but so contains, and so our country is going to be Canada. Remember to put in the custom, uh, error message. So now once the user enters Canada, they will unlock this one. So let's go back to the preview. Four digit lock. Country lock is going to be red and say nope, no matter what, until the correct lock is entered. Okay. So you can go through and come up with a lot of different variety with number of digits, if you wanted to be just a word, a country, a name, a year, would be back to digits, of course. So it's there's a lot of, uh, lot of options. Now, the last thing I'll show you with this, uh, as we turn this Google form into our lockbox, is so when you open it, what's inside? That's the question, and that's what I want to show you how to, how to handle. So you're going to go to this gear for settings, and you're going to go to presentation. So confirm message. This is what it tells the user or the person playing the game. Once they enter all the correct locks and they hit submit, this will pop up and it'll, it'll tell them what was inside the box or what they received. So whatever the, the item is inside the box that they have earned now, that's where you put it here on this line. So we'll, when we save that, and we go back to preview. Let's take a look and see what happens all the way through. Ooh, we cracked that lock, country lock. I think it's Canada. We've cracked that one, so we're now ready to submit. 
and it has told us you have cracked the code you have earned three black knights so now we have opened the box and that's what's inside so um, that's how you can turn a google form into a lockbox and so check out some more tutorials on how to get this into your google site thank you